Welcome back to my channel. My name is May and we're back to do a special review. So today I am going to review the Glamnetic uh, brand Magnetic Lashes. Now if you haven't heard of Glamnetic, they are a brand that creates magnetic lashes. Basically they have a magnetic eyeliner that you apply on your lash line. After applying you wait um, for a little bit until it's like 80% dry according to the directions on the liner and then you will apply the lashes onto the eyeliner and it will stick because the liner is magnetic. Um, what's really cool about their lashes is that their lashes have six magnets. Um, that's their sort of what makes them stand out in comparison to other magnetic, magnetic lash brands. Um, I really like their lashes because they're really fancy. Um, I did order f a set of four but um, the, these, the Lush lashes, I actually didn't like how the quality was in terms of um, some of the hairs were like not going the right direction or they're just not like, you know, cleanly all curved the right way. So I did contact their customer service support and they were really, really nice and really quick about getting me a replacement. So instead of ordering the same lash, I decided that I wanted a simpler one. So I ordered the Living Lash. Um, this one is less bold. Um, it's more like for day-to-day -day wear and it's really cute. I'm going to actually put on my base makeup and do like a simple eyeshadow look and then I'll come back on camera and then we'll put these on and just kind of talk about how they feel about the liner and everything like that so I'm gonna go ahead and put on my base and be right back so I just finished my base so I did a sort of orangey eyeshadow look with the NYX eyeshadow and it's just kind of like a my everyday sort of glam very simple look um and we're gonna go ahead and use the glamnetic liquid magnetic eyeliner and put it on first things first is that the tip of this i think you guys can see because i can't, I can't even see but it's pretty like thin but at the same time it's a a little bit thick but the tip is pointed also like the liner itself is very goopy this I'm like super concentrated super super focused that's what one eye looks like but I feel like this isn't a good liner for the end because it feels like super hard to draw a nice wing with this I don't like how the eyeliner is like getting on my lashes. And it's like very goopy on my lashes. So this is what the liner looks like so far. Um, it feels really like sticky and it's gloppy-ish but it's not too bad. Um, but I think like if I were to try to get this as like just a liner, I wouldn't be that happy with it, but because it's like a magnetic liner and it has a function other than just being a liner, I think I'm a little bit more okay about the consistency, if that makes sense. So, lush, lust, lashes. And 
I put them on pretty easily. I accidentally didn't press record, but I can take it off and show you again how easy it is to just pop these on. Like, I'm not a person who wears like false lashes a lot, but Like, you can put on these lashes in seconds, literally, just like that. It's like so quick and easy, and these are like so pretty um, and dramatic. So, I really like these less lashes, but I am not a person who wears dramatic lashes often, so I'm not sure if this is something I would wear all the time, maybe for like special occasions because it is a bit heavy um but i really like it and in the box there's these little cute messages um so this one says just give me lashes and watch me make it happen and i think it's really cute so just easily remove that off um on this website it does recommend that you scrape off the magnetic liner after you use it um, so that you can prolong the use of the magnets just because if you have the magnetic liner on it then it's kind of like you know it'll not it won't stick as well if there's this buildup of the magnetic liner um, and then another thing is that like after you take off the lashes sometimes there's this like removal of the liner so you can see like it's like dotted so we're gonna have to reapply the liner just so that you the other one stick on and i'm so sorry about the background noise like my family is like at home because of you know there's not really anywhere to go um, and today was the best day for me to record, so I'll let the liner dry a little. I'm really upset that the record button wasn't on for that one when I was applying it properly. Um, I think just to kind of con give you like some contrast. In comparison, I'm going to go in with the Live-In Lash. So for the Live-In Lash, it's definitely a lot less dramatic than the Lust Lash. Um, this is for more day-to-day -day wear. It says, never get so busy making a living that you forget to make a life. And that's pretty cute. Um, I think these lashes is the lash that I would lean more towards. Um, on an everyday basis and I'm I would wear these definitely way more often than the others um, like I said I got the living lashes as a replacement for the lush lash and I won't be trying on the lush lash because I feel like the hair like the strands are just a little bit more tangled and the quality wasn't as good as what I expected so I'm just not going to bother with trying that one on but I will be showing you the other um, ones, which is the Lavish Lash and the Lux. But we're gonna go ahead and put these on and let me bring you in close again so that you can see. Face it. And then... Attach. Just the magnets as I like. And then do the same for the other eye. So this is what the living lashes look like. Shorter, more delicate, more simple, um, and easier for day-to-day -day wear. Again, there's like this, the liner does come off. It does stick to the ma magnets. So I'm gonna apply for the like third time another layer of the liner so that I can stick on the 
the other ones. Going to do the lavish lash. And it says, know your worth, then add tax. And the lavish lashes are very dramatic, really, really long and full of volume. See, they just come up just like that. And oof, these are really full and, and they feel very soft. So. And you definitely can readjust. I really wish that I had ordered these when I did my ABG look, which I will post sometime. I don't know if it's before this video or after this video, but I had bought these lashes after I already filmed that video. Um, but I had used some Globnatic lashes from my sister that I borrowed. Ooh. Yeah, these are really, really fabulous. Super dramatic. Like, lashes, they really, really change your look. Like, yeah, I feel like these lashes are similar to the Lush lashes, but they're more full. Like, there's way more going on it's way heavier my favorite ones are these lux lashes um and this is what they look like in the box i just really like how these strands are laid out i think they're really pretty um and a bit more lightweight in comparison to the lavish lashes it says here remember that once you dreamed of being where you are now Like, I think I like these because they're dramatic, but lightweight in comparison to the other styles. This is what Lux looks like. My final thoughts on Glamnetic. I think that Glamnetic is an amazing company. I think the idea that they have is really great. I definitely think that if there's one thing that they could work more on, it's the Glamnetic um, liquid magnetic liner. If they could change the applicator, maybe make it a little bit smaller or the consistency of the liner itself so that it's less goopy, I think that it has a lot of potential to be better and you know just grow i think that having these magnets onto the lashes for easy application is an amazing idea and i really really love it because i struggle so much so much with putting lashes on i've put on false lashes from i think um it's ardell or like other companies and I'm just really bad at using lash glue and oftentimes I get the lash glue on my eyeshadow um, sometimes it'll like be stuck right here or like the glue will dry weirdly and then I'll have like a clumpy edge and then I'll have to take off all my eyeshadow or like reapply eyeshadow to fix it and it's just this whole mess when all I really want are like luscious, long, beautiful lashes, you know, but it's such a hassle. And to shorten that process from like, literally like five, 10 minutes of struggling with just glue to easy application of liner, I think is really innovative and really amazing. Um, but I do think that there are some points, as I mentioned earlier, that it could be definitely improved. I also have tried these um, lashes on before and what I've noticed is that it's really, really hard to take off the magnetic liner. Like the magnetic liner comes off onto the magnets on the lashes because that's the adhesive 
for the lashes but at the end of the day when i'm using my pharmacy um cleansing balm like i'm rubbing it in my skin and it's really hard for me to take off the liner um it doesn't budge off as easily i think because the consistency is a little bit more goofy so i do have to really get in there and kind of like softly rub my eyelid to get off the magnetic liner it takes a little bit more effort to take off the liner but i think it also makes sense because you do want a liner that stays on because that's how you're going to keep these lashes on um i definitely recommend the lighter um styles if you're someone who doesn't wear lashes a lot i think that live-in is the perfect lash for you. It's um, short, but it still adds some oomph to your lashes. Um, if you're someone who likes dramatic, but you don't like heavy lux, my favorite one is definitely the one to go with. If you're absolutely interested in being dramatic and going all out there, I would definitely go with Lust or Lavish. They have lots of lots of styles on their website. Yeah, so definitely check out Glamnetic, Glamnetic if you're interested. It definitely is a bit more expensive, but that is because you're getting 40 plus uses out of each lash. So it does make sense um, because when you buy lashes and you're using them and it's like one-time use, then you're spending way more than if you buy a Glamnetic lash and you use it multiple times. Um, so those are my thoughts on Glamnetic. I think this product is definitely worth checking out. And with that, I'm going to end my video. Uh, I hope this video is not super long. And if you've stuck with me till the end, thank you so much. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And thanks for tuning in. Um, please, please subscribe if you haven't yet. Leave a comment and a like as well. Yeah, so see y'all next time. Bye.